Hey everybody, and welcome to another PSP P tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to quickly talk about how to do a Pearson correlation in this uh, in this in in this program. So, for this one, I grabbed the Big Five personality traits data set from the JASP data library. Uh, I'm a fan of the data library. I don't know if you can tell if you've watched the other videos, but I'm a fan of this this library, and this particular one is from Dolan, Ort, Stoll, and Vickerts, testing measurement variant invariance in the target rotated multigroup exploratory factor model in a structural equation journal. <laughs> so honestly, the only thing that this one has um, to to play with for correlations is the big five personality traits of neuroticism extroversion, openness, agreeableness, and conscientiousness. So uh, one thing to note about neuroticism is that it is um, a reverse scaled item compared to the other four. Um, if you if you change the phrasing of the questions and flip the recording, you would call it um, emotional stability, and then it would be in the same direction as the other four. But this one is from 500 participants. If we go to data view here, we can see that these are all decimals, uh, and there are 500 as we go, as we scroll, 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 500. Okay, so we should get some pretty good correlations on this one. And um, what we're going to do is we're just going to develop a correlation matrix within PSPP here. So how we do correlations is we go up to analyze, as we've done before, and we go to bivariate correlation. So we click on that, and this gives us our window. And the only thing that we're going to do is we are going to um, make sure that we click on these. So we click them all over. Select them all, and um, we can do, and this is one cool thing, is you can do a two-tailed a two-tailed or a one-tailed um, test here to see whether or not these are significant correlations. And um, by default, two-tailed is selected, but if you have a directional hypothesis, you can select one-tailed. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as two-tailed. Uh, but I also do want it to flag significant correlations for me. So that'll be nice. Uh, we, we, we like getting uh, significant correlations flagged. No other options for this. So we're just going to go ahead and click OK. And um, this particular thing isn't helping me out. So I have to click on that to open it and still also put it <laughs> in full screen. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right. So here's our correlation matrix. Um, on the diagonal here, you'll see um, you'll see one uh, for the Pearson correlation, and so that goes there, 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 and there. Now there is no uh, there is no p value for that. Okay. So this diagonal box here shows you the diagonal, and then these two. Um, parts of the matrix are symmetrical. So these two go there, these two are like that, and then so on and so forth to these two, okay? And so we will get flagged with an A significant at the 0.05 level. So we have one here, we have one here, and we have one here. And you can see that neuroticism is negatively correlated with the other four and that's because it's a it's it's an opposite characterized scale um then everything else generally speaking will likely be positively correlated with one another um there are a few negatives over here but you can see that this is negative 0 0.01 and uh definitely not significant here uh, openness and conscientiousness. And so just this particular data set had that weird, had that weirdness, but it's essentially zero, so we can ignore it. Uh, and then there's another positive correlation here. In each box, it does give you uh, the R value, it gives you the P value, and it gives you the N that was considered here. It does a case by case, so a pair by pair uh, exclusion. 
So that's why it includes N. So just in case there was a pair where somebody had a missing value, it would not include it there. And that is how you do a Pearson's correlation in PSPP. If you like this video, please consider leaving a like. If you uh, like this content, please consider subscribing. Leave your comments, suggestions, and questions down below. Thanks for watching.